Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how you can release Carter using Blender Human Metal Rig. So I'm going to show you all you guys the tail and the fascia. So let's begin. So I'm going to create a new collection and I'll call this rig. And with that collection selected, I'm going to start by adding amateur so shift plus e and go to the amateur here i'm going to add human metal rig now i'll go to the object and then i'll choose in front this will make me see in front of every object and now here for this character i have the body separate you can see it from here i have the body separate at the left and the right eye so all of them and the upper teeth and the tank all of them has been separate so that will make the rigging easier so now the next thing is i'm going to scale it down to match the character and i'll go to edit mode by pressing tab and here i'm going to select this hand using b for box select and i'm going to use s mirror so it can mirror on the other side for this hand we can rotate it on y axis minus 35 degrees that will straight up the hands and i'm going to align this now this part has been aligned with the shoulder so it's cool and now i'll go to top view i'm going to press a to select everything and j and y to i'm going to grab this to front here so that this will be aligned to the air. Now my next thing is I'm going to use B for box select and I'm going to align here be the rest part. And I'll go to the data and here I'll check the axis. Now here I'll go and align with the leg. So I'll use G for selecting it. I'll use L to select all this. And I'll go to front view G and grab it on X axis on here. And I'll go to number three to go to side view. And I'm going to align this side. So I'm going to use B for box select here and number three and G L Y to align it here. Now here we can move this one over here. And I'm going to align this one to match here and this group. Now the next thing is I'm moving to the fingers so you can see this it has only five, four fingers so I will delete one of the fingers so I'm going to select this using L and to highlight this and I'm going to X to delete the bones and I'm going to align the rest of the bones to the fingers so here I can use B for box select and I'll select them all this ones the fingers and here i'm going to rotate it on y axis to minus 40 degrees to straight up the fingers and then i'll go to top view and here i'm going to align this one to where the fingers are so this one will come here so i'll select this one and align to here and this one's come here and this one's supposed to be in the middle the same thing to this So I'll use L to select also this and use J for grab. And I'm going to align to this side. Now we have to align it on this axis also. So J and move it inside the volume of the hands. Okay, so I'm going to use L, J for grab and move it on top and change and move it on top like this to make it so you can hide it in front to see if it is inside the fingers and everything is nice so we can go back to in front again now left with this one so i'm going to stretch this one to here and move it so this is what i'm going to do i'll select this and shift together to select and i'll select this shift s and select it together i'll do the same for this shift Plus S and Kether to select and select this shift S select it to Kether. Do the same for all of this. So it will align with every half the fingers one. So we have to make sure all the axis has been aligned perfect like this. Okay, now this is cool. I'll move to next steps. So here we are going to align this part. So this is supposed to go to the head. So I'm going to use B to select all of this and this one. Okay, this and grab it using G. So I'm going to align it with the face. So I'll use G for grab and move this one. So make sure you don't disconnect any bones from here. So G and Y as this. This one's go here. 
and I'll use B for book solids, this for the head, and this goes to the neck. So now let's move on to the face part. So we are going to align this all to the face. So for the face, make sure you don't disconnect any bone. So I'll begin with this. You can see this character don't have ears, but we can align it to something like this one. Can you remove the in front so you can see if it has aligned well? This is the eyebrows, so I'm going to align this one to the forehead. This one also go to the top. So and this one also will go to the eyebrows. Last one, this one also go to here. After this, we can patiently align it well. Front, and this will go inside. So this one will go to the cheek, so I'll move it to this side. So move it up here, and this one will climb here, okay. Now we need to go to the mouth part. I'm going to hide some of the bones here and I'm going to align the tank so for the tank I'll go and hide the body go to edit and I'm going to align this to the tank so this one will go here and this and also this And this one is also TB, so I'm going to scale it and move it here. So let's go to the eyes. For the eyes, select the eyeball, press tab to go to edit mode, and select the middle of the vertex by Alt plus click and highlight them all, and press Shift plus S and choose color to select it. Now let's go to object mode and make sure you go to object and set 3d keda to set the origin to the 3d keda now you can rotate it like this so i'm going to do the same for this and then object 3d keda so after this press tab select the eye and shift plus s and select it to keda it will snap also this one to that and go to here and choose individual origin and scale it up now this one is cool so here we can unhide every bone and i'm going to unhide everything i have a hide let's see if everything is good 
so now let's go and add the theme to add the theme make sure you are in edit mode and let's go to let's go to data and samples and here i'm going to search for tail select it and click on add sample this will add tail to your character so here we need to make sure the z axis is on top so i'll bring this one gen, and grab it on y axis and i'm going to rotate it on here and i'm going to bring this one to the tip and this one here this one will come to this side and this so I think we have to scale it, add more bones to it. So, so I'll make this one inside small. So this one's come here and we need to extrude our last bone. And this one is good. So right now I'm going to paint this to I'm going to paint to the spine. So I'll select this and shift select this spine and control plus B and choose keep offset. So after everything has been set up, I'm going to generate the rectify. Before I do so, I'll go to object mode and I'm going to apply all the transformation for the rig. And I'm going to save us. So make sure you apply. And here go to generate rig and click on generate rig and let's wait for it to generate. Now the rig has successfully been generated and everything seems cool here. So let's go to here and test if everything is nice. So in scale, you can see everything has been rotated in order. So now let's go and bind this to the rig. Before I will do so, I want to shift select this and shift select the body and I'm going to press Osbars I to hide or the other part to lift with only the body and the rig and after this i'll go to our press and to bring the sidebar and i'll go to bone collection and i'm going to bring the deformation bones i'm going to hide all this layers to lift with only this deformation bones lay collections then i'll go to post mode and here i'm going to select only the tank this three so i'm going to select the tank this and also this one so only the tank one now press alt plus Control plus I to invert the selected bones and here I'll remove from S-ray and shift select my character body and here I'll go to weight paint and then after that I'll go to weight and assign automatically from bones. So right now we have successfully bound this to the character. So let's go to barrack layers and test if everything is nice. So I'm going to hide the deformation and let's go here. So right now we can open the mouth. So everything is good here. Here I'm going to rig the eyes and the teeth. So to do so, I'm going to out pass H to unhide everything. Okay, and I'm going to hide the body and this rig now here i'll go back to the origin we have the deformation but now we are moving to the origin but you need to paint the tank first to do so i'm going to select this and the left eye and the tank everything i'm going to shift select the rig and control plus p and this one i'll choose with empty groups now after this i'll go here and i'm going to hide this I'm also on deformation bone because I want to parent the tank before. And I'll go to post mode. Right now, I'm going to select only the tank. So select the tank and this. And I'll, I'll shift select the tank only. And I'll go to weight paint and I'll choose weight and assign it automatically weight. And now you can see it will assign to only the tank, the selected bone no other bone will have effect on the tank that's what you want after this let's hide the tank i'll select this and i'll bring the o origin and hide this one this is for that one that is not deforming the body select the teeth and shift select the bone and select the tt control plus p and choose bone let's do the same for the lower teeth select the lower teeth first shift select the bone and this one select teeth b and control plus p and choose bone let's go to the eyes so select the eye shift select the bone and choose i dot l control plus p and choose bone the same thing to this 
now after this we can hide this and bring all our rigs back now we can test and see if everything is working so the ice is moving So thank you for watching here we can see our character has been fully rigged and everything is working perfectly you can remove the tank as well also this also move all the teeth and this goes to the tank only